Hello, my name's Chris, and I'm just going to do a quick rundown of my Coca-Cola machine restore. I did it in the Fallout theme, obviously. This was a 1972 Vendo. Uh, the model was an, an HA56E. I got it from a guy who said it used to be at a airport for about 40 years. He got it when they closed down. And then he said that at, like three years ago, it got super cold and then crapped out. Um, from what I can tell, the thermostat probably just broke and it just kept running and running until it died. I got it from him and then now I restored it. The um, machine itself was a little banged up, not too bad. I went ahead and removed the rust. Then after I removed the rust, cleared out, cleaned this up a little bit, placed the bulb, and then I re put a base coat and then repainted it. I didn't really sand it down too much. I w I'm not really caring about the, keeping it original. It was too far gone to keep it original anyway. I had to repaint it. So that's why I did this way. Um, you can see I repainted the, the catch over here the, for the tops. I repainted it up inside of here with a coin return. The, let's see if it gets in focus there a little bit. I used a rust remover, which did really well for getting this back to the original look with the, the stamp on it. This used to say 25 cents. The coin machine only takes 25. It can't be adjusted. This model does not let you adjust it. I looked in the back of it where it would normally be and it's not there. The, the front does not light up. Uh, the, it's not slanted like some of the other models either. And the, I left the edge, the original paint, so you can see that it, it's you know, looks, you can still see some of the edge, but I removed the rust. I used the, the rust remover to get the rust off of here, but kept it the way it is. It's going to be indoors. I'm not worried. The original stamp is down there from the manufacturer. And, of course, I've got my, I made some magnetic um, signs or signage. And what you can see is it does still work. It does not make change, but you can put in quarters. And let's see, come in here and you can grab yourself a drink. Uh, don't judge me on my beers, it's for just a variety. But this is my favorite beer. I'm not paid to sponsor it, this is what I drink. Um, if they want to pay me, cool, that'd be nice. Um, but that's it, it works. Uh, let me go ahead and give you a detour of the inside. And this lock is the original. I had to have a special. I had to have a key special ordered and recut to get this working. As you can see, uh, this is the just a plastic change catch I made. This thing is removable uh, to empty it out. Uh, I got an, uh, some original caps that I found inside from well, not original, but this one's like from 2001. And the rest are just from unknown unknown dates. They're I think they're in Spanish. So since this was probably near the valley, who knows? It was probably stocked with the machine. There were some nickels in here, nothing special. The uh, oh wait, hold on. Oh cool, it does work. Huh. Fancy that. So that's the the front here. This is the original color of the front. Um, it had like a sort of ugly pattern on it. I went ahead and you know, obviously painted over that. I cleaned out the wiring for this mechanism. As we go inside, you'll see there's an LED light that is that comes on when the compressor comes on. And then of course I have the green light bulb up here. I redid the inside with some insulation that I had left over in my garage from doing my audio equipment in my car. I also put some behind here to help seal in the cold. It is currently bleeding right here. If I can get it in focus for you just about 30 degrees. So these are probably around 35, a little bit higher, but they're pretty darn cold. I repainted the bottom, uh, went ahead and ran the wiring this way. You can see the glowing, the leftover cables on top. The whole mechanism works pretty good. This is all not too bad. I, I didn't paint this, I didn't want to mess with it. I just took the rust off of it. Here is the new compressor that I bought, it was about 700 bucks. The old one was just too far gone to restore. I had to repaint all the bottom, remove all the rust, it was a bit of a task. Here's the new 
the new unit here that I put in. I, of course, I added that sticker myself. I redid the wiring on the bottom to run that LED. I repainted this uh, collection pan down here for the water for the drip. That's the, that's the original tube. And of course, this is for when the end comes. This is basically whiskey. And I keep that back here. So it's always cold. Here's the new dial I put in. Works pretty good. Um, that's pretty much it as far as everything else. You can see I, I spent some time just sealing all of this up, make it nice and keep it nice and cold inside. One thing that you gotta know about these is that to get them to really close, you gotta kinda lift a little bit and then pull up on that handle to get a good seal. And then you can close the door. You know, get that lock on there. And, oh, and I made an Easter egg uh, in order to keep the theme of things. This front panel does come off. It's not the lighted one from the original, so when you take this out, I put that behind there. You know, kind of cool little secret. Kind of figured I'd put that in there. Um, but that's pretty much it. That's what I did, and it's in my house. And I like it. So if you have any comments, I hope they're all positive. Uh, if you have anything negative to say, um, I'm not going to really care because I have this the way I want it. And since it's the way I want it, I really don't care if you have anything negative to say. But if you have anything positive to say or you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. That's it. That's my uh, Fallout themed soda machine.